Hello oh friends, here I am presenting one of my experiment with my own design circuit that is tank circuit for the LC oscillator. You have earlier studied about the LC oscillation. It works as if they supply the EC current on the charge in a circuit which quickly is stored by the capacitor and again restrained by the inductor. The storing the uses it typically simultaneously guided lead to a cyclic phenomena which remains up to its full consumption. Here we can see use this cycle over the work of the circuit of the bulb it gets used. After which is consumption, the intensity of the light gradually decreases. You can see here the tank circuit having the capacity to store the charge and the inductor to restrain the charge. As soon as the current supplied to the circuit, it is stored by the capacitor, again restrained by the inductor, and again the inductor restraining the charge to the capacitor. This cycle is going on and giving lead to a cyclic phenomena in the circuit. Here you can see this. At the switch at the A position as well as B position, it contributes to the anti-clockwise as well as clockwise the cyclic phenomena of the circuit. The inductor having the AMF and is storing the charge in the form of steady charges by the capacitor. The V, which is present the potential difference to the circuit. Here on the bike, the Kirchhoff's law VC is plus V L is equal to zero and IC is equal to I L. And the VT with the T, the time factor with the LT, I one GT. And the differential equation, you can see that uh, d square upon i upon with the t factor, the 1 by cl, the LC oscillation. And here, the simplifying the uh, differential equation, we get that it is equal to a e raised to power j omega t. And here, we can say p e minus raised to power j omega t. And uh, this is complex conjugate. You can see a upon i naught 2 upon e j phi. And at from the Euler formula, you can see this is consumption of the current as the circuit of the inductor as well as the capacitor is presenting. And the frequency which is of, uh, running in the circuit can be restrained by the F naught is called 1 by 2 pi root LC. Here, one of the Halteley oscillator, which is uh, des uh, also designed by me, and on the basis of this oscillator, you can see here the inductor L2 and L1 in the form of transformer. The capacitor C1 and CC is present here, and the resistance R1 and R2 in the presence of the series, which is present here. The AC current is supplied to this oscillator, as well as in the uh, consequence of the Halteley oscillator, is also present the same phenomena, the R1 and the CY. And the VCC, which is present the RC and the R4, represent the R1 and R4 in the series form. And you can see the injector L1, L2 also in the form of series. And the C1 capacitor is just uh, added to the side of the either in the circuit of the series L1 and L2, the injector is there. But here you can see the Altamosh oscillator. This is designed by me. Here it is, uh, you can say some of the upliftment of the circuit here, the injector L1 and the C3, C1, C2 are the two capacitors added in the circuit in the connector for the C3 with the parallel form. And the RE, the CE is present in the parallel, and the R1, R2 in the present of series with the along, and the R1 for the R4 resistor is also present with the CC. And the CN is the input of the capacitor in the form of the current, the C3 also restraining the current, the ultimate shocker. Here we can show the experiment of my own designed oscillator. This is the uh, Altamash oscillator you can see designed by me. There is two capacitors are present in the form of uh, series, you can say connected in the form of the uh, resistors also. Here one of the transformer for restraining that the current which is going to the circuit is can be, uh, you can say liable for the DC source in the current using the bulb of LED to not be Here You can see uh, this uh, uh, circuit, I'm going to show the experimenter, this is the AC uh, current source, uh, let me switch on the circuit. And here you can see this uh, uh, two uh, wire which are going to giving the AC source current to the circuit which is stored by the charge of the capacitor in the car, uh, you can see here. I'm just adding this. These are two just uh, storing by the capacitor again storing by the inductor. You will see. Here it gets, uh, I think it's going to store enough. I just put off this AC source and switch off the board. Now you can see here, this is the bulb. I'm just going to connecting the output source of the current from the uh, cyclic phenomena. I can see. If I touch this bulb, it starts glow. That means this uh, phenomenon is a uh, cyclic phenomenon which is going under the circuit as the restoration and the storing of the capacitor. And again, again, you can see this inductor and the capacitor which is also going to the uh, imparting the same circuit and the bulb is just start glowing. You can see as soon as this current is uh, lead to the, the full consumption, the gradually decreases in the current. You can see here there's a gradually decrease in the current as the cycle is going on inside the circuit so this was my experiment i hope so you just like the circuit of the design